Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. Well, we're already in October. Isn't this beautiful? I think uh, October is uh, the big O, starting, opening, opening hearts, expanding minds so that we can transform our lives. So good to be here with you. <sighs> well, hello Norbert, how are you? I was told that, that in the beginning I take some time and I acknowledge people and that's what I want to do. I want to start today by acknowledging each and every person that shows up. Uh, last week I started by asking, taking a poll from everyone, say, asking if they would like what their thoughts are on, on me changing our uh, Heal Talk Tuesday from noon on uh, from each Tuesday to another time and I had people message me and say they like the Heal Talk Tuesdays at noon because when they take a break they go on and uh, they watch it and if they cannot complete it they go back and watch the replay so hey and here we are we will continue staying at uh, Tuesdays at noon and if you are watching live just show me an emoji or say something just give me a number or anything a heart and if it is a replay just put replay and that way I can respond to you I can interact with you Ugh, talking about interaction I wanted to change my format a little bit and how I want to do is from today on, I'd like to, instead of informative and inspirational, I want to call it Relay Formation. Relay Formation. <laughs> I come up with a name, right? So in a way, we get to relate to one another and connect to one another. So if there's any questions of me that you have, please, by all means, ask me a question. You can shoot a question, you can type a question. I am here to answer any question that there is. I don't know if you can hear me, maybe this was better. Okay, so what's been happening in the last uh, few days? Hi, Ani John, how are you? I missed you yesterday. Actually, I saw you, but I could not come and meet up with you. It was so busy, but it was an incredible event, wasn't it? Yesterday, uh, we were at the 29th annual Women's Achievers event that Greg Accorian puts together here in Glendale. Every year, we have incredible women that are recognized first they are nominated by the community the surrounding community within the la county and that they are recognized and every year the women the achievers the people who truly do so many amazing things are awarded and being a part of the committee with 11 other women and three gentlemen, I gotta say, it's an amazing event. Not only for the women who are recognized, but the past nominees, but ta the past awardees that come together. It's like this, this network, it's a tribe of connection, a relationship. We see each other, we get to hug one another, we come together for the reunions, but why am I talking about this? Hi. It's, it's everything in life is a relationship. Everything is a human connection. Yes, Facebook is wonderful. Tweeting is wonderful. Instagram, everything. It's all about, yes, here I am. This is what I am doing. Watch me. Here's information for you. But how do we come to relate? In my line of work as a hypnotherapist, as a stress management consultant, this is what I 
work with my clients, they come here and from the moment they sit in the chair, it's like they take a breath. They take a nice deep breath. And I even teach them how to breathe properly from the core, from the stomach, instead of chest breathing, which is, I call it shallow breath work. And by sitting and taking that deep breath is, let me just become comfortable. Let me catch up with me. Let me catch up with my body. Because when we slow down, when we come to this moment of OM, and it doesn't take long for us to have this time, because when we are showering, when we are in the shower and the wa water comes down, trickling from the top of your head all the way down, and you close your eyes and you're massaging your scalp, in a way you are connecting. In a way you are taking that time to say, I am one with my body, cleansing, washing, healing, right? But at those times is when you delve within yourself and it's a me time. So we have so many me times and yet we don't recognize it. We, with all this tweeting and Instagram and Facebook, uh, going to events, constantly doing, 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 doing. Women tend to take that time to go and have their hair done. And from the moment we have, uh, we put our head back and someone is washing our hair. When we are going for the manicure and pedicure, yes, it's the outside, but we allow someone to do something for us. We are receiving. We are receiving the pampering. We are pampering our body. Even though it's external, it's me time. And if at that moment you just shut the phone off and stop the, the texting, the Facebook, and just take time, close your eyes and enjoy receiving that moment. Men who go golfing, Sitting in the cart, if someone is driving you around the green from one hole to another, take that time. And instead of conversing, just close your eyes for just a moment and breathe in the air. Become one with the wind. Even smell the grass, the newly cut grass. That is called me time. Om. Um acceptance, connection, connection within. So we don't necessarily have to go to places to have peace or to pay a retreat to go to a silent retreat. We go into that silent retreat each and every time we want to. So in a way, when I talk about my signature treatment, my signature therapy, which is called the 3E, evoking what was, that means just tapping within ourselves to bring forth, to bring surface. What is it that we want to work on that has been blocking, hurting, uh, disconnecting from our body, from our feelings, because we work so much in our head. We are so much, I, myself, in, I'm in the same place. So why am I saying this? Because just talk about tapping within. I had someone I was talking to yesterday and they said, I am going through such menopause and I am so young. I'm having hot flashes, I'm having all kinds of symptoms that they are called menopausal. And I said, hey, menopause can last for 16 years for a woman. Hmm. 
in case you didn't know. And it can start from mid-40s all the way to, yes, late 50s, early 60s. So depending where you are in your life and what you connect, how you connect, you can regulate your menopausal effects, your hot flashes, your tantrums, your emotional outbursts. And by using the 3E method is also connecting with what is happening at this very moment. Have you felt that? Do you go through menopausal, uh, some call in the menopausal effects, your high flashes, you don't want to do anything, you're depressed, you don't feel like connecting with anyone, you feel as if you are disconnected with your own feelings, or there is so much feeling that it's outbursts of emotions. By doing that, the embrace part is, ah, oh, this is what's happening with me. This is what is happening with me, acknowledging it. Just like last week, I acknowledged I was going through what we call conscious depression. By not having my dog, I was not walking. I was not functioning to my fullest because I was not exercising. I literally let go of myself. But that's embracing my feelings. And how do we connect with the heart? Is by embracing that we are human. And by embracing it and acknowledging it, that's when we can make the change. So one of the emails that I received, the PMs, was, Lisa, how do I let go of shame? Hmm. Shame is very deep. Shame is something that stays and lingers for a long time. But what is it that we are shameful about? What are you shameful about? And that was my question. Do you have a ritual, a daily ritual that you do for yourself? Is there something that you do? I started daily gratitude. And if you want to, please find daily gratitude idea, I-D-E-A. And every single day, I will bring a daily inspiration, information. I'm going to be in different places and connect with you from different places. And that's one thing we can do is connect from different ways. But shame comes by saying, I did something wrong. And to this day... I have not forgiven myself for what I have done. And that's why I am shamed or I am shameful of. But when we are shameful, shame is that dark, powerful feeling. This is what I wrote that holds us back. And it can stop us from acting inappropriately. But many of us have learned to attach shame to healthy behaviors that are in best interest. And in dysfunctional ways, shame is something that has brought you to here. But what is it that you want to do from now on? How do you let go is by forgiving yourself for whatever it is that you did or has been done to you. And take that experience by forgiving yourself for holding on to it, by forgiving, you don't have to forgive the person who's done it to you or believe that has hurt you, but releasing that energy. And one way we do it is emotional cutting cord. By cutting cord is, you know, when we are birthed, when we are born they call they cut the umbilical cord but that's that's physical cord energetically 
there is that emotional core that we are attached to people in different ways. We are attached to emotional connections with people, shame, guilt, fear, that although the person may not know it, feel it, you're holding on to that feeling or behavior or experience. So that experience was in the past and it's already gone. And yet today we are holding on to that story. And if that story is no longer beneficial to you, this is what you do. You, now that you have evoked what, whatever it was, that behavior, that feeling of shame, and just put your hand on your tummy, breathe into it, and hold that one feeling or thought, whatever it is, it's yours. No one knows it. No one knows it. No one needs to know about it. It's your secret. But if you are feeling it, then it's somewhere in your body also. So if you feel it in your core, put your hand on your core. If you feel it on your chest, in your heart, put your hand in there. If you feel it as a headache, put your hand on your head. If you feel it in your feet that has not allowed you to move forward, put your hand on your knees or wherever. So as you hold on to it, it's usually in the core because it's such a core thing. Shame is core. And if there's a feeling that comes up, connect with that feeling. And as you connect with that feeling, allow yourself to be one with that. Breathe into it. And very gently go round and about clockwise. And exhale, releasing it. And right there on your umbilical cord, as if summing up all, everything, connecting to that one thought, one feeling, summing it all up and conjuring it and bringing it all together to that very moment to the point that you can just connect it and hold it right there, hold it as if holding it in the palm of your hand and you can just hold on to it. And just like an umbilical cord, if you can just release it and bring it out of your body, just release it out of your body and hold. And with this one finger, just emotionally, very gently, lovingly, Encant this moment by moving forward. It's called incantation. I now release. I now release this cord emotionally, physically, mentally, emotionally, that this feeling, I release this shame, I release this feeling, and this no longer has power over me. And cut that emotional cord and release. Release and release. You may need to do this a few times, but you will get to connect into deep core emotions that may come up, maybe not now. Maybe you do this later when you are alone at night, right before you go to sleep or right when you have some time all alone with yourself, early morning or late at night, you can even put a very low music, light a candle, and just make this a ritual that every single day you practice until you feel all that released. So in a way, 
you give yourself permission to discord and disconnect from what was embrace who you are today that has helped you or held on to you until now and release and transform transformation begins within so when i help my clients connect it's connecting deep into their subconscious mind Sometimes we all need help the same way as I need help with a, uh, a mentor, a coach for logistic business. I go to a trainer for physical training. I go for my hair for the person who does my hair. Not today. I did my own. But we all need someone. We all need help. Oh, thank you, Michael. Um, a part of what I do is not only hypnosis. I treat you, my clients, as a whole. So it's not only come in and sit over here and let's go into that hypnosis, but it's so many ways that I can help you and hold space for you from weight, from smoking, from insomnia, from shame and guilt as a domestic abuse consultant there is so much either from the past and if it's not dealt with it comes up we go from different cycles not one many cycles so i want you to realize no matter what happens it's so beautiful to be human I hope you can relate to this. It's relating to who we are and recognizing that we are far greater. It's okay. I have tears coming down because, you know, it's connecting, it's being vulnerable. It's saying I'm human. Even as a therapist, I need help. As a therapist, we all need one person. Hello, Farnoosh. Oh my God, here's an incredible lady right here that coaches and inspires others. And that's what we are, each and every one of us, right here, you. And it doesn't matter what you do. If you are in real estate, you're helping someone find what they're looking for. My daily gratitude, it says idea, because it's what we imagine, what we desire, and if when we put the excitement in it, we achieve it. It's that incantation versus just an affirmation. Incantation is saying every day in every way. I wake up with that energy, with that zest every day. It's that incantation, mind, body, emotion, believing in who you are. Believing that that little girl and little boy inside you no longer needs to hold on to that shame. And today, the only person who can help release and discord and cut that emotional, mental cord is you. Only you. And if I can help you, by all means, give me a call. Send me a message. PM me. Everywhere. You can find and connect with someone. And my idea is not only on Facebook, but connecting with creating this tribe. Join my daily gratitude, for I will come live every single day in a different way. As a matter of fact, I think if we add 5%, if not 20%, if not 30% more playfulness in everything that we do, if we bring a little bit more energy, we can create so many magics together. And what is a magic? Is to live fully, open your heart, expand your mind, and transform. Actually, what I just said is becoming embedded in me because here within my tagline is where transformation begins. I started my nonprofit and the first thing was, wow, I'm here to help motherless children. 
But how many of us feel that the mother in us is disconnected from us? So we have the child within, we have the adult within, we have the parent within. So let us stand strong right here, right now. If there is anything I can help you with, by all means. And if I can't, I will find you the person because that's what I have, is a network of people who can help you. Every single day, stand up for you. Validate who you are and know that you matter. So by embracing who we are, we are validating that I matter. By evolving, we are saying, I can do more. I can be more. And yet, right here, right now, I am good enough. So what is success to you? What is your daily ritual that has helped you? Share with me. Share with me. So by sharing with me, you are becoming an inspiration to someone else right here. Someone else will see your post. And guess what? By seeing your post, they might connect with you and say, I like what you said. And now you created a new connection with someone else. And this is the arena. This is how we connect. I wish I could connect with every single person. I do. Sometimes I go uh, FaceTime with them. I Skype with my clients. I have clients from uh, Toronto. I've got clients from Chicago. I had a client that went to Malaysia and they would Skype session with me and they loved it. Why? Because we are connected. And I even have a client that once a month, I do monthly uh, affirmations and I do a whole 30 minute hypnosis and I send it to them because that's what they want to personalize. And every time they say, this is where I am working on, could you please send it to me? And they listen to it every day. Yeah. So every time, hello, Wahedan. Hello, Alisa. Oh, Alisa, you are one of the most amazing women. And th this is what I'm talking about. This is relationship. This is connection. When someone is not only doing for one person, the person they, they love, they extend all their knowledge their connections, it's a network, it's a web of network to say, I admire someone else. A few weeks ago, I put a post, if you admire something about someone, share it, let them know. It's the most beautiful compliment. I compliment women all the time. I do. Because I think it is the most beautiful thing and it's not sexist, it's not nothing. It's about saying, I see beauty. And the response to that ought to be, thank you. Thank you. I see in you what I see in you. So sometimes we have to say, I see you, see me. It's not only for our family, for our children, it's for everyone. Today, I say thank you to our male person. And as he was walking out and I said, have a wonderful day, may the sun shine upon you. He walked out and came back and said, thank you, that was beautiful, and walked out. That one message may carry with him as he carries the mail, he may pass it forward to someone else or just to put a smile on his face. So thank you for being 
a part of today's message. And if you liked it, by all means, share it. Just click share, click like, click whatever it is. If you're watching this on a replay, by all means, please say replay. If you have been here live, just let me know you are here, you are present, and I thank you for being here. God bless you, and may the sun, sh the sun shine upon you, especially the universal light that surrounds you and heals you. Let the shame go. Cut the cords that no longer need to be connected to you. Free this incredible body and explore life. God bless. I'll see you next week.